What is up, my YouTube world? How you doing out there? Love all you guys, you know, out there. So how y'all doing? Trying to figure out where the camera is. There it is. How y'all doing out there? I'm doing great. What I want to talk about is Necron Army. Um, I love the Necron theory. I love how they get right back up on a dice roll. You gotta roll good, though. You gotta roll good. Um, so there is stuff to help you. Like reanimators and stuff like that. Also, I'm going to talk about this guy right there. The Doomstalker. He is actually my favorite out of the whole army. Um, so, let's do a little Doomstalker. I believe he is a heavy weapons choice. I don't know the points on him. But movement 10 inches. But weapon skill 4. Ballistic skill 4. Strength 6. Toughness 6. Wounds 12. Tax 3. Leadership 10. Dude has a leadership of 10. And 3 plus save. Now. <clears throat> So they do have the big gun on top. It's called the Doomsday Blaster. It's my personal favorite. But you can do 24 inch range, heavy D6, um, strength 8, armor piercing 2, and D3 damage. Now if you remain stationary and don't move, like the next round, 48 inches range. Heavy D6, strength 10, armor piercing 5. Wow. D6 damage. Mm, hopefully, you roll a 6. And also, he's got the rapid fire twin goss flare. So, he's got quite a bit of things with him. Um, he has a 4 plus invulnerable save. He comes in handy, believe me. Um, 11 metal, which he means if he loses one point at the end, uh, next turn, you regain one. So, if you lose one point, your next turn, you gain it back. One wound. I believe there's stuff out there that can help you with that, um, more than just one. I'm not sure. Time to consult with some of my friends. Um, he's a sentinel construct. Basically, if they charge an enemy friendly unit, you are allowed to use the rapid fire free. So, each time this model fires Overwatch, it makes attacks with this Doomsday Blaster using the high power, which is the strength 10 armor piercing negative 5 and damage E6. It's also a heavy D6. That's pretty decent, man. So that's what I like about the Necron Army, man. They got the heavy hitters. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the other one I like. Um, give me a second here. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> the Triac Stalker. So... That's the big guy, man. He's awesome. He has a 10 inch movement, 3 plus weapon skill, 3 plus ballistic skills, strength 7, toughness 6, wounds 12, attacks 3, leadership 10. Dude has a leadership of 10. Man, oh man, you can't go wrong. 3 plus save. He's has something called the Heat Ray. 12 inches, it's like a flame attack. Particle Shredder, Stalker's Fire Limbs. It's melee, in case you want to go melee. In case you want to go up there and get in close contact. I suggest not. 
don't always go hand to hand combat, but if you have to, you might want to do it. Uh, the twin gas cannon, 30 inch range, heavy six, strength seven, armor piercing negative three, d3 damage. Ooh, man. So these are exploding units, though, also. So, those are my two favorites. Um, so let me get to a picture of that guy. I'm going to try to here. Games Workshop, eh. I mean, I love their models. They're expensive, but they're GW, you know. This one's big, though. <laughs> show you this guy this guy I like too so he's pretty cool I know every frog where'd you get the laptop I'm actually borrowing it from a friend um, so friend actually gave me this laptop borrow for the week uh, so But I'm guessing he's going to let me have it soon. So, I'm hoping. <laughs> Alright guys. With that being said. We are off. And Nick. I hope you're watching. You inspired me to do the Necrons. I love them. Um, I still got to put them together. I have the World Scour set. Which has the Doomsday Stalker. Which I absolutely love. Because it looks like the World of Worlds. Uh, alien type thing. Um, but we are off, man. With that being said, we are off. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Bye!